Hello, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle. I wanted to illustrate backward Dacian and Contango in the commodity forward market. If we think about a commodity like gold or natural gas or corn, there is a spot price associated with the commodity, so that's just the price tag today to buy the commodity. Also, we may have the option available to us to enter into a forward or futures contract and a forward price I'll denote here with F sub zero and what this means is that today we can enter into an agreement a contract that is a promise to either buy or sell the commodity in the future but we're gonna decide that price today so that's really why it's F sub zero it's the forward price today at time zero we agree to buy in the future or sell in the future, but the price is known today. I've got two forward prices here. One's greater than the spot price and one is less than the spot price. If the forward price is greater than the spot price, in other words, if the forward curve is sloping upward, we call this contango. Another way to say this is if the distant forward price is greater than the near-term forward price, that's contango. On the other hand, if the forward price is less than the spot price, or if distant forward prices are less than near-term forward prices, we have what is called backwardation, and also this is just typically called an inverted forward curve. So to illustrate, here's a recent gold futures forward curve. The futures price for the commodity that is gold as we go out forward in time. This is a typical gold forward curve and then it's upward sloping and uninteresting. And you'll notice this curve is in contango. The forward price or the distant forward price is greater than the spot price or the near-term forward price. On the other hand, here's a forward curve for crude oil, which is also typical in the sense that as we go out further in time into the future, the forward price is less than the spot price. It's less than near-term forward contracts. And so this forward curve is inverted and we call this backwardation. Here's a curve for corn which has some alternation or some alternating patterns. We have contango giving rise to backwardation and so we see that the contango or backwardation can apply to different segments of the forward curve and this is very typical of natural gas where we have alternating cycles of contango backwardation contango backwardation in this case due to the seasonality in demand for the commodity now here's the tricky part because contango and backwardation are one set of terms the other set of terms that gives difficulty are normal contango and normal backwardation. I like to say that the way to think about this is that normal contango and normal backwardation refer to a phenomena that you can't really currently observe or currently prove. The truth of normal contango or normal backwardation is only revealed over time and it's a little more it's a bit more complicated because as opposed to just contango and backwardation which are really only about the slope of the forward curve normal contango and normal backwardation are about the relationship between the forward price and not the spot price but rather notice right here the expected future spot price so the spot price is something we know today we can buy the commodity for the spot however the market has a consensus view on what the spot price will be at time t in the future see how it's t and not zero and then and there's an expectation about that future spot price so if this green circle represents the market's consensus expectation on the 
future spot price, I'll say that one more time, the expected future spot price, that's given in green, then we can talk about the relationship between the forward price and the expected future spot price. If the forward price is greater than the expected future spot price, we have normal contango. And see, I've got the notation here. Forward price, we can observe that, is greater than the expected future spot price. We really can't observe that currently. On the other hand, if the forward price is less than the expected future spot price, we have normal backwardation. And so just to illustrate, here again is the forward curve for crude oil. And you'll recall we said that this curve is in backwardation. Now, the curve is in backwardation, but it can be in either normal contango or normal backwardation. Consider the first scenario where this green circle indicates the expected future spot price for crude oil. If that's the case, then we ha what we have is an inverted crude oil forward curve. That part indicates backwardation, but the forward price is less than the expected future spot price. That part indicates normal backwardation. Consider another scenario where the expected future spot price is actually down here. Then we have a scenario where the forward curve is in is inverted or in backwardation, but the forward price is greater than the expected future spot price, and we have normal contango. So in this scenario, backwardation, yet normal contango. Similarly, if we look at gold futures, we've already said that the forward curve is in contango. Then consider the scenario where the expected future spot price is up here. In this case, the forward curve is in contango and normal backwardation. If the expected future spot price is here, the forward curve is in contango and normal contango. So hopefully that explains or helps to explain the difference between contango and backwardation and normal contango and normal backwardation. This is David Harper of the Bionic Turtle. Thank you for your time.